Uh, yes, coach. Good evening. Uh, what do you expect from your team against Suriname? Um, I, I expect us to play. I expect us to play well. We've prepared really well for this game. We're ready. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a tough game. We know that coming in, but we've prepared well, and I really expect us to perform well. Do you have any other questions, Marinho? Yes. Uh, you said you prepared well. Uh, you got players. Uh, how long is this squad together? So we have, yeah, we have a lot of returning players that have played together for for quite a while now. So the understanding, the connections are there. Um, there's some new, newer players that we've integrated in well, but it's such a good good group of guys that when the new guys come in, they integrate them really, really fast. So, you know, there's a lot of guys that have played together for a while. And like I say, the, the connections are there and we're really happy with, with where we're at at the minute. Thank you. Raul Caron, can you go ahead and ask your question at this time? Yes. Uh, coach, uh, how will you approach this game? Uh, will you attack or will you play from the counter? And uh, according to what you know about uh, Suriname, how well did you guys prepare for this match? Well, look, he's not. I, obviously, I don't want to go into details of how we're going to approach the match tactically. Um, I think it would be naive of us to, to start talking about those details. I will say, obviously, we've watched a lot of film of... of Suriname over over the previous months years that they've played and they've played some high level opponents so we've prepared well but we're also going to be us it's not it's not about adapting who we are and and who we want to be because we believe in ourselves and we believe with our style and and the way that we uh will attack the game tactically that that it's going to be us it's going to be Puerto Rico and um we're excited to sh to showcase a a play style that, that the fans are going to be proud of question is for Zuri. Can you talk to us about how the, the team, how are the players feeling at this time, you know, going into this preliminary um, games? Uh, I can't speak for all of my teammates, but I just know in general the vibe of the group is, is great. I think we're going to um, go into these games with a lot of confidence because we've been given a very, you know, clear and concise idea from the coaching staff. Um, it's been a lot of fun to for myself to integrate back into the group. You know, there was a few of us that did not go to the camp in March. Um, so I know that there's definitely a little bit of, um, I would say, excitement going into this match because some some guys may or may not have been able to play at such a level. But I think that you know could be used to our advantage in the sense that um, you know collectively as a group we are unified in our ideas and the way we go forward. And I I'm excited to get out there myself. You know we have a good pitch. It's going to be great weather. It'll be a good opponent. So there's not much more you can ask for from a football standpoint. Okay, and we have another questions another question from Marino. So you can go ahead and ask your question at this time. No, I passed for this one. Okay, thank you very much. So my final question is to, to the both of you, and can you speak to us about maybe the greatest challenges that the team has faced to reach to this point of the preliminary stage of the Gold Cup? Um, for me, I think that the, the, the biggest part has been holding ourselves to our own standard. Um, at times, you know, during our qualification process and throughout um, Nations League, you know, we've played some opponents that, that we've, we've handled and we've done well with. And now we're going to face a real challenge coming up in this, this coming game and potentially the games to come. So for us, it's a matter of holding ourselves to the standard in which we know we can play. Um, and I think that's extremely important because um, we are playing some good opponents with some good players, and that's okay. We understand that. But ultimately, for me, it's about being aware of the opponents that we're playing, but ultimately believing in ourselves and knowing that we have to hold ourselves to the standard in which we hold because we have a lot of quality. But ultimately, we have to, to believe in ourselves that we can go forward and compete with these guys and, again, be aware of the opponent, but focus on ourselves, focus on our tactics, and try to execute the game plan as best as possible. And if we do that, we know we'll be a tough team to compete against. Yeah, f from my point of view, obviously, the, the Federation and the team have, have done extremely well over the last recent years. Um, the results have been good. Uh, on the road and at home. There's obviously been some changes that players have got to have had to adapt to, um, but it's not about huge changes that are changing the identity of the individuals in the team.
because that that path that they're on is has been really really good. So, you know, I give a lot of credit to to the players and the staff that that were there before me, um, and it's about now taking that that next step. Can we get to that next level? And we believe and we're really confident that we're heading in that direction. And uh, and this is a great platform for us to show that. Okay. Do we have any other questions at this time? Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah, a last question. Uh, you guys haven't lost a match uh, in the past two years. Um, you just said that you had good result on the road and uh, at home. How confident is this group of uh, securing a good result against Suriname? And on the other hand, is there any pressure on you guys since it is a must, game, uh, a must win game for you? It's a really good question. Um, you know, I'll attack attack the first one. Is we're we're extremely confident. You know, you, you go into competition, um, and if you don't have that confidence, in my opinion, it, it's pointless being in the competition, right? The work that we do on and off the field together, we know that that's going to reap a lot of rewards and success. So we're really confident going into this. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people see Puerto Rico in our ranking and, and see us obviously as outsiders, which is fair. But we're not here to make up numbers. You know, we're here to compete. We're here to challenge ourselves. We're here to see where we stand. Um, and we're here to push this, this, this nation forward in this sport. And like I said, make, make a team that the, the fans are going to be really, really proud of. And we're super confident that, that we're going to do that. From my perspective, um, it's been awesome integrating myself back into the group and to continue to build on the success that we have had. Um, we understand that we, this game coming forward is going to be a lot different than the previous games we've played in terms of the immediacy of results you know, going forward. Um, you know, some guys may, haven't, may not have had that experience before, but I think that's a little bit to our advantage in one of these things where we can control the controllables. Ultimately, that's what we've tried to focus on. Um, being um, very dialed into what, what is asked of us as players from the coaching staff, um, being very aware of the opponent in which we're going to play, because that's all we can control. And then we go out there and try to execute it as best as possible. And you know, we understand that it will be a difficult task, but again, we are very confident in our abilities of, as a team, collectively as a group, tactically, um, but also just the, the culture in which we have. We're, we're Puerto Rican. We are very proud to be Puerto Rican, and we embrace that. And, and I think that that, that unity and, and our, and I would say the, the bond in which we have is something that I think can propel us um, and put us in a good place to succeed. Okay, thank you very much.